Texas Senators passed legislation yesterday to end automatic entry for students who graduate in the top 10% of their class. With the increase of new work-study jobs, opportunities for students to land jobs around campus could become a little bit easier. On-campus residents may seem a bit cleaner and happier this week since hot water has been restored. The outlet malls have long been a place for students to earn money in retail. But now, consumers are being a little tighter with their spending. Ferris Rashid, store manager at the Levi's outlet, has noticed a change. He says customers are purchasing only necessary items. Rashid says retailers are trying to encourage shoppers by offering more discounts and bulk item sales. Even so, business is down. Vacant kiosks, empty stores, and blowout sales are all effects the recession is having on our economy. The students are really starting to feel the burn. Senior marketing major Dane Roberts is an employee at the Tanger Outlet Mall, where slow sales have begun to affect him. Yeah, typically, uh, I've been in retail for a while, typically between January and March, it's basically a retail desert, but even most employees like me probably still got about 15, 20 hours. I'm down to nine, maybe even five, some weeks. Roberts is one of many students who are employed at the outlets and feeling the economic downturn. They're all hoping for a turnaround soon. For Bobcat Update, I'm Dex Ellis. Congress has approved $17.3 billion in Pell Grants, which will provide assistance to students for at least the next two years. The funds are a part of an omnibus spending bill approved last month. Full-time students receiving Pell Grants could see an increase in the maximum Pell amount. The expected family contribution will also be reduced by about $600. The federal work-study program will also receive a boost, allowing for more job opportunities on campus. With the increase of new work-study jobs, opportunities for students to land jobs around campus could become a little bit easier. Michelle McDonough, an assistant computer lab technician, welcomes the decreased stress that more money could provide. I know a lot of people that receive financial aid, but they don't think that it's enough. And so I think with the increase in the ability to get more from the government and not have to worry about like having much to pay back at the end would make everything easier. For Freshman Elizabeth Racker is a work-study office assistant, and she says she'll appreciate the extra income. actually help a lot because uh, I know a lot of people that do have issues with, uh, with financing their college education. Other benefits in the bill include tax exemptions for school necessities, funding for job training, and tax credits for tuition and fees. Students can determine if they are eligible for the increase by visiting the financial aid office or by checking online through Cat's Web. For Bobcat Update, I'm Dexter Ellison. Gracing the latest cover of Essence magazine is First Lady Michelle Obama and her mom. The May issue, when America celebrates Mother's Day, seems to be an appropriate time for the cover shot and article. Mrs. Obama honors her mother, Marion Robinson, in an interview conducted at the White House in February. And for you who are fashion conscious, Michelle Obama is wearing Talbots in the cover. 